along with this thoughts turning to things, you are understanding that it's your readiness to receive the thought that we're really talking about here because the projection of thought or the offering of thought is consistently coming forth from your inner being. So it's not that your inner being says, well, I've been offering and offering and offering and you haven't been taking any of our advice that so we're not going to offer anymore. It's never anything like that. It's just this steady knowledge of where you are in relationship to what more you want to unfold. So the more satisfied you are, the happier you are, then the more likely you are to receive the impulse. And if you're willing to follow through on those impulses, but you feel the circular conversation we've just had here. If you're self-conscious about what others think about your behavior, because your inner being is going to encourage you to do things that other people are going to disapprove of. Esther said to Jerry, promise me you will tell no one about Abraham. <laughs> it's just too weird. It's just too weird. He didn't keep the promise. That happens, doesn't it? Sometimes your worry about what others will think will keep you from receiving the next impulse. Ooh, wasn't this a good conversation? <laughs>